Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name once again is Jason, and today we're playing some more Arma 2 Chaos Storm, which is a custom scenario, well, a set of custom scenarios uh, created by me. Uh, as you can tell by the uh, background, we've got uh, a cockpit of, I believe it's the L-159. Um, it's a Czech Republic uh, plane, and if you've seen my semi-PSA video the other day, you realize that all this time I thought that the Army of the Czech Republic was installed properly on my system uh, because I had some of the content, but I didn't have all of it. So I finally have everything now. We actually have wood land camo. So we're, we're not uh, in desert camo anymore. And we've got the full set of uh, vehicles that comes with the Army of the Czech Republic. Uh, we also have the maps. And I was like, oh man, I should have known about, I should have remembered that it had its own maps and we could have been you know, using those maps instead of Cherneris, but all right, that's for another series. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to go under A settings, increase the view distance, because flying with a low view distance is atrocious, as it is the 5,000 meters is probably still going to be a little short, but we'll manage. All right, let's put our flaps down in preparation for takeoff. Gives you a little bit more lift. Um, taking off, which is a good thing. All right, I'm gonna keep the speed low as I taxi up to the runway because I wanna pull up my map real quick. We're taking off from here. We're gonna head on up to uh, Petrovka where some of our uh, ground forces are engaged with, um, well, uh, we got Russian, uh, the Russian invading forces and uh, they are sporting some, um, you know, some armor. So they're giving our boys a hard time. So we're gonna take to the air uh, I'm going to switch over to the uh, AGM uh, 65D Mavericks, which is a uh, nice uh, fire and forget uh, ground pounding missile. Uh, so uh, we'll take off and we'll hit there. Now, I am also at the same time, there are fights going on in other parts of Cherneris. Uh, as I said, I would try to simulate a bit of that warfare thing uh, and keep a bit of that randomized uh, element. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So, um, what. Uh, the, well, one, the reason why we're uh, specifically helping out in Petrovka is, one, because it's up uh, by the uh, border, and two, it's very close to this airfield, which we would like to keep secure. So we want to basically really protect this uh, front here. Krasnostav is actually a small little airfield. Actually, I don't even think it's got pa a paved uh, runway, which, um, you know, if, if the, they start launching jets from, I don't know how, we'll say, realistic that'll be, but we'll, we'll just use our suspension of disbelief. To let that slide. Now I do have a uh, another uh, friendly jet who will be in the air with me. Uh, I did did not add him to my group because I didn't feel like having the radio chatter, and I just wanted to have a um, you know sort of a solo flying experience. Uh, you know, with a little bit of aid should uh, the need arise. So let's switch on GPS. Let's uh, pull up the gear. Let's uh, pull up our flaps. And head on over to Petrovka. As soon as we crest this hill, we should be able to get a visual on the uh, tanks if they're not well hidden. And they are—I can't get a lock. They're blocked by the trees. Yeah, so it's not a good—not a good time to engage. Um, they're blocked by trees. So I'm actually going to uh, try to spin around and get a better, um, better angle on them. fly off a bit. Uh, now I, there is a uh, randomized chance of having interceptors come out our way, so we might have a little bit of dogfighting. We will uh, see how that plays out. Now it looks like my buddy's already in the air, and I really hope he didn't take out a target on me. Alright. No! No! Oh, no he didn't. I just can't get a good lock. Let's try anyways! Fire off a Maverick. Let's see. Is that a, a hit? I think that sucker may have actually hit. Awesome! Still got a lot of small arms fire coming our way, though, so let's... Let's be careful. I, oh yes, we still have one. Okay, I can't get at it from this angle, I'm too, uh, too close. So we're gonna do a flyby, or we're gonna fly away rather, and then we're gonna spin around and um, to 
take another shot. Although I believe my buddy may have just taken him out. Yeah, it's showing up as gray up on the top left in my, as my on my radar, so... Woo! Yes, we got two nice plumes of smoke. Wait, one's red again. I, wait, is it... I can't tell. There we go. Just for good measure. Alright, I think, I think we're good. No, is he still there? He's show, still showing up as red, so I can't tell if... I want to make sure that the, our, uh, our friendlies are, uh, are fine. Oh heck, why not? That's actually one of the reasons I put, um... I only put two targets down, is because I wanted to make sure I had ample ordnance to, uh... to, uh, take them out. Uh, now if things go poorly, like I said, I am trying to simulate, uh, what's going to happen overall in this, uh, sort of, we'll say, narrative. Uh, then of course I will eventually put more targets than I can hit, and then I'll have to maybe... Uh, tell exa or prioritize and tell exactly which ones I need to, um, we'll say, aim for. Now, I'm a little bit concerned because I do not see my buddy on radar anymore. I'm wondering if one of those plumes is actually my buddy who got shot down. I think it is. Alright, so I'm down a wingman. Fantastic! Woo! This sucks. Um. All right then. Well, my mission is still complete. We still uh, managed to uh, drop the uh, the two uh, the two vehicles. Uh, we basically lit, we'll say delivered our airstrike, and. Um, I don't, didn't see any um, attempts by interceptors or anything to uh, take me down. So, I would say the mission is complete, and we're ready to go ahead and land. I will have to make note, however, that we did lose a plane. This is unfortunate. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a big, uh, long sort of turnaround, and then go ahead and uh, and land. Uh, now, uh, after I go ahead and land, what I've got is um, I set up a. Uh, actually, I'm curious. I want to know if the enemy jets even took off. They didn't. Okay, you know what? There's AA in the area, but let's try to come in, come in quick and see if I can't take out one of their jets before it gets off the ground. I think that's one of them. Please, let's pop some flares. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Oh, yep, there's the AA. Let's retreat back behind our lines and get out of here. Target of opportunity, that's what I'm calling that. I'm actually surprised. I, I made sure... I, I wanted to make sure that, you know, the, uh area was uh, sort of nice and secured so I, I did put uh, AA on both sides because I'm trying to simulate an actual uh, thing like in warfare mode I found that the you know the defenses weren't set up very realistically uh, but what I'm trying to do is actually put uh, you know this machine gun nests in proper places uh, we got AA set up in the right places and such so um, let's go ahead and Cut speed down, spin around, and land this sucker. 
So let's put gear down, drop our flaps, and I might actually land this, not too bad. Lee, not too bad, Lee, I believe. I am coming in kind of fast though, I would like to slow down. I'm kind of crooked now, I'm not so confident. Confidence going, it's waning, it's, Ooh, can I do this, can I do this, can I do this, can I do this, can I do this? I can do this. <sighs> this is, that's a rough landing, bad landing. Very bad landing. All right, so let's go ahead and taxi over to the, the hangar, the hangar bay, and uh, let's go ahead and see how the rest of uh, the fight is going. Because I can't remember if I mentioned, uh, but I basically I set up a, a, a civilian uh, who's, basically, who's invincible. I've uh, removed any chance of him being damaged. Uh, and uh, I have made him the high commander of every troop on the battlefield. That is Blue 4 and Op 4. Meaning that... Uh, I can see where every uh, squad or fire team on the map is. So I can sort of assess the situation after the fact um, and know how to plan out the next mission. So I'm probably going to have uh, Petro Petrovka... Well, well, we'll see how, how things played out once we were able to neutralize the, uh, the uh, tanks. Actually, those were not tanks. They, well, they were armor... You know what I'm saying. And there we have it, boys and girls. Mission complete. All right, so let's uh, engine off. And let's get on out. I'm sorry there wasn't any dogfighting. I was really planning on there being some dogfighting, but it looks like they took a little bit too long to get off the ground and... Well, the opportunity presented itself, so I took them out. So they are down one jet, and we're down one jet. I think that's not too bad of an exchange, considering they're also down two. I think they were APCs, to be honest. Whatever. So let's go ahead and hit T, which will allow me to switch over to the citizen. And here we have the... Uh, complete uh, picture of the battlefield. So, uh, we have... Actually, we've got two. I didn't know I... there was two squads there. Oh, yes, that's right. There was two squads versus... and there was two squads, but the one squad... Uh, their squad was supported by armor. So, looks like our guys were successfully able to um, hold Petrovka. No, actually, they were fire teams. I, yeah, I made them outnumbered because I wanted my, my, uh, we'll say contributions to uh, affect it. Two was the other uh, pilot, and obviously that group there is black, so you can tell they are gone. Uh, it does look like this region is still uh, being contested. So we've got um, Berezino. We have, two, actually, it looks like two squads at 100%, and it looks like... Uh, while well, the op four operating operating in the area is actually down to eighty one. Oh, and they looks like they may have lost someone. Seventy nine. Okay, so they've lost a little bit too. It's a, we'll hit fast forward. I'm not going to record all this, but I thought it would be an uh, interesting to view, thing to view. Um, they're down to fifty percent. Okay, so we still have a squad up there. I don't know what that why they're not moving in. We have another squad here down to 37%, and we still have the offer. So it uh, looks like Niznoi uh, may end up uh, being lost to the uh, being lost to Op4, and we'll see how. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll watch it um, like after uh, after you guys are gone, and uh, I'll be able to update the, the map accordingly for the next mission. Uh, so, Kamishovo, we got 100. They're still battling it out, and that, no casualties yet. How, how long has this mission been going on? Oh, wait, oh, there we go. There's the casualties. They're updating. Or it, it might have been they just lost someone while I was here. 
So let's see, we started at uh, 640. Basically, it, it occurs at the same time as uh, the battle in uh, from the last uh, mission uh, going up to Netas Dino. So uh, I didn't bother plan, uh, or we'll say randomizing this uh, area because uh, I actually played it out in the last mission. Um, because the, you know, the, the planes here are, um, it's taking place during the same time. And I didn't want to mess with the canon of what's already happened. Uh, so this one looks like it's probably going towards the independence, the, the rebels. This one here also appears to be going in favor of the rebels. Uh, and it basically, if they win this one, I'll actually give them control of the city and actually have them set up, um, you know, actual fortifications, so... So that, that's the, the, the situation as it stands. Uh, Petrovka will probably become uh, more secure under our control. Um, Krasnostav has been lost as well as this area here. Uh, and we'll see how this plays out. Um, like I said, that'll just be me. So um, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. Um, I will make sure to include some more... Uh, uh, we'll say airstrikes and uh, include more fixed wing aircraft um, as well as you know choppers and such in uh, future videos because I do realize these are shorter um, these are short, shorter videos so maybe every second or third um, episode we'll see uh, I'll try to uh, get some more planes in the air if you like it if you didn't like it let me know in the comments section below um, but yeah I'd like to thank you all so much for watching and until next time Game on.